Hi and welcome back to my channel. This episode is not about teaching you how to create something. This episode is about me thanking you and giving you these two models in a sign of gratitude. And why is that? Because in none of my videos I ask you to like, share and subscribe and still you did exactly that. You show me support and gave me constructive feedback that is the fuel for this channel and I thank you for that. We just achieved 11,000 subscribers and that's a lot. Thank you for each and one of you. Heads off and stay tuned for more is about to come in terms of content. Now, about the 3D models that you can get for free on my Gumroad, I must tell you more about them. Both have a significant poly count, the F1 has over a million and the Kawasaki Ninja has over 800,000. But during my process of modeling, for some parts I apply the subdivision surface modifiers and others don't have it applied but still active, meaning that you can change it. Both have an unfinished UV unwrap on the elements because when I created them, they were used in a simple camera scene. Nothing complicated. The UVs, as you can see, are on the fairings. The rest of the elements have a simple shader and don't need an UV unwrap only if you want to bake light and shadows. Now for the Kawasaki, those into Ride series can already see the striking resemblance of my model to the one used in-game, and that's because I use in-game reference during modeling. I also use a 3D model from which I extracted blueprints in order to have an accurate model and also real images of the bike. Sadly, for the F1 car, I did not create the cockpit, there's no steering wheel, pedals and details, only a simple seat. Also, the F1 model was created using various blueprints found on the internet during the time this news went viral in the F1 community. So the final result is not accurate, but still close enough, I would say. You can get both models for free on my Gumroad page linked in the description down below. You just type the price of zero or more if you think they worth something, then click I want this. The only thing that I ask you is to please don't sell the models further and don't say that you created them because I already saw my content and projects being stolen and re-uploaded on other channels and pages. And it's not a great feeling knowing that the hard work of others, in this case me, is being used under a different name. I know that not many of you are into motorbikes and racing cars, but I promise next time the giveaways and content will fit different styles, but for now this is a thank you from me. With these last words, we came again to an end. Thank you for watching and stay awesome. See ya.